God damn 2K land, man. Check this out, man. Y'all already know I got another jump shot for y'all, another banger for y'all, man. I understand that y'all are saying, Jay, 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 we needed another jump shot because right now jump shot is broken. I, I know, I know it is, man. And that's why I'm here for y'all. You know what? I'm calm, but the temperament is strong when I pencil him. Phone steady, jumping, screaming calls like I'm keeping bricks. Got everybody tapping in, but you've been kept in solid. When you look me in the eyes, subtle tell, I know you got it. When you do the sauce, make me want it a la carte. Caught me looking at it like the bullseye of the target. Though. The crazy part about this jump shot is anytime I'm missing it, I know that I'm missing it and I know why, I can tell you what the thing is gonna say, and I think that that's very important because when you know why you're missing it, you can make those little adjustments. I don't try to make adjustments as far as letting it go sooner, but I look at it like this right here. Like, I know that with this one right here, if I just look at his arm action 100% of the way, I'm good. But my problem is like when I'm missing it, I'm not looking at the arm action 100% of the way. That's my biggest problem with shooting. And uh, I think that's a lot of people's biggest problem with shooting. We look at the, we look at everything and we don't just look at the arm action. Like I knew that was gonna be the fast one, right? So I just have to look at the arm action and look at it the entire way through from the catch to the shot. I gotta look at the arm action. And what that does, it helps you ignore all the other noise that's in the, uh, that's in the jump shot. So right there, you know, that's gonna be cash. Like it's, it, it just helps you ignore all the other noise because all the, I don't know why they put all the movement in some of these jump shots. They don't like the ones where he just goes up. It's like those jump shots are gone now. And so you, you literally have to pick. It's like the uh, pick your uh, pick your poison or the lesser of two evils. Like, like, can I see him? Can I see my hands? I, I don't like I try to look at my hands and just just concentrate on when I see it get to a certain point. But I couldn't do that. What I ended up having to do is just, like I said, look at the look at the arm action through the entirety of the shot, and that will tell me how fast or slow the shot is gonna be. Like I knew that one was gonna be slow. I thought I could do it, but that's gonna be the fast one, and so I can hit that one. Being able to tell the difference between your fast and your slow jump shot is really what's gonna make the difference between you making shots and missing shots. And I really wish that this shadow would get off the court, man. All I'm trying to do is get out here and shoot the ball and show y'all this jump shot, man. So make sure y'all hit the like. Hey, before we get, we gonna be able to do that in one second, man. But before we get started, make sure y'all like the video, comment y'all thoughts down below. Y'all already know we're trying to go with this thing, man. To the moon, Allison. If nobody told you this today, y'all my brothers, my sisters, my family, love each and every last one of y'all, man. Controller settings, set point. It seems like set point is back to set point. It doesn't feel like push anymore. Yesterday it felt like push. Now it feels like, you know, it's regular jump shot. But that's, that's, that's neither here nor there. We're gonna give y'all the jump shot right now. And we're gonna try some, something a little different when we're giving you this jump shot right here. So uh, let's just get right into it. Uh, let me get the mix right here. Cause I gotta like, gotta put them in a the mix like hammer. And uh, this is it. This is it right here. Can I move my chair out of the way? Chair, get out the way chair. Anyway, jump shot is Black Cole Conquer. Is the base then you got louis hachimura number one 60 uh what's that 60 61 percent and then you got scotty pippen 39 percent so black oak conquer is the base i can't say his name it is what it is louis hachimura 61 percent all the way up on the speed and then you got your boy uh scott with pippen uh with that 60 60 39 man so that's the jump shot right there that is the blend it is a really good shot I feel like uh, I feel like it's one of the shots that I've been more comfortable with, if, if that makes any sense. And I'm gonna give it to y'all one more time, just so y'all can see, because I don't want anybody to be like, you know, I'm, I'm I'm out here gatekeeping or anything like that. So boom, there you go, right there. That's everything y'all need to know. I felt like y'all saw it when I saw it, but listen, when you go out there and shoot that shot, man, you know how people gonna feel? They're gonna feel like you. This is how you're gonna feel. sensational i'm telling you man you really gonna be shooting this, <laughs> this joint it's nice and smooth not a whole lot of problems in it and like i said i think this year i'm gonna hit my first shot i'm gonna hit this first shot got it yeah i hit my first shot like i, I just had it you you really just have to wait out that little little bit of lag or whatever and you good but um i feel like this year the only way you can really be consistent with shooting 
is a lot of practice and just a lot of everything else. And did I tell y'all, I don't even know if I said this on the first one, but uh, the way the tail on this jump shot right here is the elbow. So the elbow right here, 90 degrees. When you see the elbow go flat right here, that's when you're gonna let it go. Don't worry about this little 45 degrees right here, none of that. As soon as you see the elbow go flat, triangle, that's release. And hey, that's how I be out there right there. Shoot the rock on the board, man. Same thing from the front. From the back, you know, it might do. It, it, it is what it is. We're gonna make it do what it do. But look, make sure you're paying attention to where it is. When you see that little triangle release, all that good stuff. Let the ball go. And like I said, watch his arm action through the entirety of the thing. That's that's what I'm starting to try to concentrate on right now because that'll let me, like I said, I probably said it earlier already, but looking at his arm action only, I know I missed that one. Looking at his arm action only, it lets me ignore the little down, the little breakdown that they be doing. You know, they be doing all types of stuff, man. Like, listen, if somebody got a base, I missed that one up early. Um, if somebody has a base, where he just goes straight up instead of going up and down and up and down. Please, I missed that one too, I'm early. Uh, please let me know because that's what I'm looking for. Let me pay attention to this shot. Oh, I'm early because I'm darn, I ain't got no energy left. Uh, please let me know because it seems like, like that's what I want him to do on all the shots, but they don't do that on all the shots, man. Like it just is what it is. And then here we go. Are we in a shooting slump in here, man? Let me let me get a layup real quick. But at any rate, yeah, it just, it just feels like for whatever reason, it's like for whatever reason, I don't understand it. I don't claim to understand it. I don't know what 2K is thinking. Why is all why is it all this movement in these shots? Like a, a lot of these shots, it's, it's a lot of unnecessary movement. I want something where he just goes straight up and shoots the ball, but he got a. They don't. They don't have it. It's like everybody gotta tap their foot or, or do something like that. And I guess that's the true motion. And this doggone light, I can't see. That's why I'm missing right now. Cause I can't see. I can't see. You got a glare right, Mike. Why do y'all do this? It's a glare in here. I can't see my hands. I shoot off a of vision. I'm trying to tell them how to shoot off a of vision, but the light is unnatural. And it's just like I can't see nothing. Right here is too dark. Over there is too light. It was perfect a second ago when we first came in. Everything was good. Why do they got all this nonsense in the Gatorade? So, so, so look, man, when this happens, like, I, I can't stand, I don't understand why 2K did that, bro. It was like, like the, the Gatorade Center was fine. Now we got a glare in there. You got all that other stuff, man. We can't just shoot the basketball. I just want to shoot in our apartment. Why we can't have, why do they take the apartment away? The only thing they had to do Leave us with our apartment or just put the ball return in the gym. Why are there, why is there natural sunlight coming into the gym, illuminating the gym? Does anybody, anybody that plays inside do anything with with, uh, with natural sunlight? I don't play on no, no natural sunlight. Does my gym better have lights in it? I can't shoot the lights out if it ain't lights in the gym. It is what it is. So, so when you, so when you're running into issues like that and Mike them trolling you and all of that, man, this is what you can do right here. Cause geez, bro, I don't, I don't understand what it is or why it's like that it's just it's just it's asinine bro like they did not have to do that and then like i don't know if they're trying to do that on purpose so we got to uh so you can't never really get your jump shot down so now you gotta buy boost or what I, I don't know why they do it man i think it's, i think it's it's bad business i i don't want to have to do this every time i just want to practice my jump shot because it's really not the same your 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 uh your leg and, and I'm just, uh, bro, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm so doggone discombobulated. Uh, you let the lag in there or the delay in there is much closer to the delay that you're gonna encounter on the real court or whatever, right? So that's why I like to play, play, play or practice in there. But if you having a day like that, like this man, go on in here and just do this workout right here. Cause it is so stupid that they don't let you do it. Go shooting and then do the one minute whatever it, it don't matter what you work on big dog and then when you work on it you're just gonna hit x and then these guys will just throw you the ball and then you can just shoot it uh as many times as you want it the only thing i don't like about this one is that it this it feels like my career right so 
it's it's actually responsive in here. It's actually responsive in here. So I, I don't do this for timing though. I do this for um I, I don't use this for timing. I do this for just for just catch and shoot and learn my uh to do catch and shoot and just to learn my uh my, my actual cue. And like we already talked about, we know where the cue is and all that. So it's just like like I, I don't get it, man. I am that's fast and I got it. I didn't get it. I, I don't get I'm early on that but I'm so mad at the game for doing the stuff that it does like what was the what was the problem with us having our own our own court and just being able to shoot 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 and uh you know what I'm saying I made the look like what was wrong with that so now you got to come in here and practice and do all of this stuff and we ain't talking about no game man we talking about practice so it is what it is, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. Like I said, they bothered me because the lighting in there was fine. It felt like I started hitting too many shots. And then once I, once I started hitting too many shots, it's like they're like, yo, we just going to change the timing up on you or whatever like that. But hey, it is what it is. Make sure y'all like the video, man. Comment your thoughts down below. Hopefully, hopefully this jump shot works out well for y'all. And like I said, in here where I can actually see myself this late, uh, in here where I can actually see myself, I don't have a real problem with shooting. The problem that I have with shooting is when I can't see my hands. And like I said, I'm just looking at that arm laid on that one. Uh, I'm just looking at my arm action and I'm laid on that one too. I'm trying to just look at my arm action to concentrate on that one. And then when I see that it's gonna be the fast jumper, then I just try to get off of it as, as I'm late uh, early on that one. I'm trying to get off of it as fast as I can, but it's hard to just, you just gotta learn though. You gotta learn your fast, like see it. So you gotta learn your fast release and your slow release, man. It is what it is. But like I said, come in here, practice this joint, head out to there. Don't go play with the randoms because you ain't gonna get no runs or no shots anyway. Just do this right here. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. Sorry I drew this out this long, but I really didn't mean to. I was trying to have fun, but they really made me mad with that. Uh, and I'll holler at y'all next time till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, aka Mr. Sensational. Big shout out to my guy for this, man. Uh, for this joint, man. I had to make it, man. It was just too much fun. And I'm out. Peace. Gosh, please. Gosh, please.